Welcome back to our homestead and back inside of our solar room. As you can see on the wall behind me, I don't have any inverters. Let's talk about that. So we're back on grid power right now. My EG4 6500 EXs had an issue and I will talk about what that is in a minute. So this problem just happened and as you can see, Signature Solar has already sent me replacement inverters. The issue with the inverters was easily diagnosed. It's already been uh, well documented, so it was very quick getting these back. I'm gonna go over what happened with my specific inverters and I hope that helps you with yours. So I wanna make it clear that the inverters were still powering my house with no problem at all. And I do really like how they perform. But here's what started to happen and that's what got me concerned, is the LED lights on the inverters, you know how you can set them to scroll or pulse or solid, they started resetting themselves to different settings that I had them set at. And then additionally, the time and date that I had set in the inverter reset itself. That wasn't that big of a deal, I just reset them, but the settings would not stick. But then something a little bit different started to happen. Some of the other settings uh, decided not to stick as well, like the low battery cutoff, I think it's setting 29. It decided to keep resetting itself as well. So I got on the phone to the guys at Signature Solar in the tech department, shout out to Derek for helping me. We got on the computer, we connected it, and we flashed the, um, the drives, the, the computers, inside the inverters and to try to get them to uh, reset and update the software. So this issue started to happen when I actually shut the inverters down into standby mode from being on. And I did that because we had a week of no sun, heavy rain, I think it was actually more like a week and a half, and I did not charge my batteries from my generator, and so I just switched back over to the grid. Taking these off of their on state and going back into standby messed around with the the settings or the chip inside of each inverter. So that's what happened to me and I found out that it's a problem with the EEPROM chips. And actually James from Signature Solar did address this a while ago on the solar forum, but my inverters were made before the time that they were able to get new units with all the new EEPROM chips in them. So some of the older inverters that were made in 2022 may have those dysfunctional EEPROM chips in them. And it was Signature Solar's R&D department that actually dove into the problem themselves instead of the original developer, I believe, uh, to come up with a solution to the problem. So that's just a long-winded way of saying that if you've got one of the older 6500 EXs, just keep an eye out for those issues. And if you do experience those issues, it's probably that chip. Call Signature Solar and they'll get them switched out quick because they already know what the issue is. But then like with any tech, there was a batch of older 6500 EXs which had no problems at all with that chip. Now let's get these new ones on the wall and we will be back up in no time. It's super simple. I just hang them on the wall, reconnect everything, boom, we're back up. And if anybody is wondering if the light flickering issue was tied to this, it isn't. And if you didn't see Signature Solar's video on the light flickering issue, I'm gonna link it in the description below. They ran through tests with the EG4 6500, I believe the Growatt, the Snyder, and the Solark. And they had a bunch of LED bulbs on a test board and some of the cheap bulbs still flickered with the Solark and the Schneider. And to be honest, I've been on grid power for a few weeks now and I have flicker in some of my bulbs from grid power. So take that information for what it's worth. And we're back. They're up on the wall, they're obviously connected, and they have been working well for about a week. I haven't seen any issues with them that concern me so far and they are powering the house like normal. I will continue to monitor things and keep you guys updated as to how they're working. And if you want to know how we connected everything, go click on this series of videos up here which is our full solar playlist. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.